Hello all, welcome to the channel. Today I am bringing you a run through of Age of Comics, The Golden Years. This is a preview copy and it's hitting Kickstarter very, very soon. We've got the designers at the bottom here. It's brought to us by this publisher and the artist there. Now this one is a, it says two to four on the box. It might have a solo option as well. It takes in the region of 60 to 110 minutes, which has been about right in my plays. And this is a kind of medium complexity game. And in this one, we are comic book publishers on the late 1930s up to the early 1950s and we're trying to attain writers we'll attain artists we're trying to develop our actual comic book itself original potentially maybe we'll have rip-offs and as you bring those onto your player boards here you'll be getting fans and going up the track so you'll be trying to hire then you can get the artist and the writers there you can develop by getting these comic books you can go and get ideas which you will need because if you want to do this crime one here, you're going to need two of these matching crime symbols. You can go and print them here. And if you do decide to go for a ripoff, you can save your time by not having had to go to development to get one of these or get the idea tokens. You can just go on this sneaky deck here and get a ripoff one of an original if, if someone else has already produced it. So that is a lot quicker. And you have to pay the salaries, though, for the writers, depending on these numbers. This is the stash of original comics. And just below are all these. Um, uh, rip-offs as well maybe you want to get some money and go and get royalties or maybe you want to get some sales and you move around Manhattan here going to all these stands and getting more fans meeting the requirements but there's a risk the more orders you take if you can't complete them all boom you might have some negative victory points those at the end of the game those fans have been let down you can get bonuses you can get these tokens to move around anywhere you want you might get more idea tokens so a host of goodies now this plays over five Five rounds and it's got a really handy sort of player guide as to how you're going to play out around with the beginning the middle and the end now there's only me as usual i've got a two player setup we've got this kind of yellowy mustardy and we'll call this sort of brown here and i've also done an overview if you fancy a sort of a shorter insight into this one now, i should add this is a preview copy so you know various rules might change or tweak here and there and think how things look and components will maybe potentially change after the kickstart but as a, a copy here it looks and plays fantastic so far folks so have confidence in that now each player has started off with a writer and an artist two value and we get to choose one of these comics as well so these guys have chosen and we've chosen some tokens and the second player actually gets a second uh, an an additional idea token we've got five money you've got four workers which are known as editors you've got this player board here some extra cubes that can come out throughout the game uh, these guys have got a two and a two as well and we've gone for the horror genre now genres you've got sci-fi in green you've got crime in grey romance in red you've got horror in purple superheroes in blue and good old westerns in orange so the first thing we're going to do then the round structure beginning we're going to flip the calendar so round one boom we have westerns so we look at manhattan we reveal any of these western tokens so we have some insider information or open information as to what the fans are after and what sort of quality of creatives and, and specialists making these comics are needed so to complete this one it's going to give us four additional fans which is great gives us more vps at the end of the game gives us more income but it needs a strength of six so you're going to need a writer and an artist with a combined value of six to be able to satisfy these fans of the quality of the comic so we flipped over the calendar we flipped over the tiles boom we would refill the idea tokens next if any of them have been taken but none so far we add hype to comics so basically when you come to print if you don't want to print your comic on here you can leave it to the side of your board and when you come over here there's a special action where you can get some tokens here and add extra fans which is known as hype each round that hype gets more and more and eventually when you print it boom your comic is coming out with so many fans you're getting all this income and points at the end of the game and we should add i've got a load of money on the side out of camera view here so all these wooden chips so far i've got a load of other idea tokens and and various bits and bobs we'll go through you then pay money to increase the creative value and this is an interesting part of the game so you can either train or learn so let's just take a couple of these to demo so let's say this was the case 
this is the comic. It's uh, it's it's a romance, so it's red. So this means this artist is a specialist because they have matching colour. They are specialised in artistic work to do with romance. Whereas the writer here, bless him, is a is a Western, uh, is a writer of westerns, and they, you know, they've been banded together to create this comic, but they're not experts. So you could train up. You know, one of these, I believe you could train the writer to a two, or no, it's a specialist, I can't remember that, but you can train up and pay the difference of one. So let's say you did have a writer of one. Where was that one? Let's say it's this case. This writer could learn of this artist, because it's the same specialism in, in romance, and you pay one, and then you put one of these little tokens. Where are they? Da, 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 da. Here we go. And you put this token on it. Now this writer is, is learnt off this artist and they have a strength of two, which is great because that multiplier, or, or not multiplier, the, the addition of those two numbers lets you complete these, uh, the, what the fans want and the strengths in those orders. Uh, equally, you could learn, which is let's just say you had, let's say this writer was strength two. You could go up. Uh, from two to three each by paying that number. So you have to pay free cost for each one to train them up from twos to threes, hypothetically. So that's kind of a nice addition in the game where you can you can learn and you can train up uh, and, and just refresh. Hopefully I'll get a, an example to, uh, to show you that one. Right, let's get these all back in the right place. So where were we? We were talking... Uh, oh yeah, we're, we're in the beginning phase. So yep, increase your creative's value. Now, we've done that. We're over to the middle section, which is replacing our workers. So yellows are up, and we've got these six locations. Let's just go one by one. So we'll go higher. Boom. We get to take a writer from either the top or one of the available ones here. Now, we're looking at a hand going, okay, we've got this sort of horror. We've got the artist, the writer. Is there a writer out there that's you know specialised at horror? No, there isn't. And it doesn't mean you necessarily have to have that, but when you get a nice combination of all the same colours matching, you get more fans which will demonstrate soon but for now we're going to go for a western and a western artist now you'll notice when you go for the ones you, there's a little bonus of an idea as well because they're, they're young in the game they're fresh and they're full of ideas uh, which is kind of a little balance to, for, for, the, for the lower number so we're getting two tokens there we add those to a hand, which is a six-card limit, which is fine. You do not replenish these. Those get well discarded and replenished as total at the end of the round. So that was higher in them. I'll come through these special actions in a bit. So develop. If you go here, you literally, the brown player takes one of these bottom three. We're looking at a hand and we've got, right, we've got a writer for that one, an artist. Maybe we want to go for this love letter, which would be great, actually. No, we've already got, let's go for this Hay Ranger one. Boom, we take that one, develop. Okay, yellows are thinking, right, I need some idea tokens. So you can see you work your way down in terms of your worker placement. And in a two-player game, you add on one so you can go to the first three spots. A three-player, well, four-player game, you can add on one so you can go to five spots. So that's kind of how you utilize the, the, the placement of your editors. So some places, like the ideas, have numbers next to them. And, and the earlier you get there, the stronger that um, action is. So we get to take two of these of our choice. Now, we're, we, you know, we're looking at our hand going, OK, uh, I want to start working on the Western ideas. So we take a Western token and we then take another one. Let's just take a romance. And then we get two from the main pool of our choice. Next player who goes there would only get one of these and two over there. And you can see it gets weaker as you go down. Okay, that's the action, getting your idea tokens. Let's just go and print then. So the brown player's gone here. First player to go there gets to print two comics, which is really nice. But at the moment, we've only got a chance to do one. Now, let's give you a demonstration. And we're going to go and do just a feeling, a romantic comic. So we need a writer. Boom. Doesn't have to be red, but we've got a writer in red, a specialist. We then need an artist. We put this one down. We then have the actual comic. So we've made an original comic. There's a difference. I'll give you an example later when we do a rip-off one. So we now need two idea tokens in the matching comic. Boom, we have those, which is why we had to maybe go up here or start the game with them. We then need to pay our salaries. So two plus two is four. We've paid our salaries. 
done. We now add up our fans. So because it's a romantic um, comet, we get one fan for that, and there's actually a bonus at the bottom, so we get an extra fan. Sometimes these bonuses are take some idea tokens, sometimes they take these you know transit system tokens, which means you can go anywhere you want and use that one time only. But in this case, we've got an extra fan. So that's one, two fans. Now, this creative is not a specialist, so we're not going to take advantage of that, and the symbology reminds you there. This chap, though, is, so we're going to get an extra fan for that. So that's one, two, three, and there's also these tokens on the side, which are mastery tokens. So we are the masters of romantic uh, uh, comics in the market. So what did we have? One, two, three, four. So we are going to move, uh, which comic is it? Just a feeling. So we go to the originals, just a feeling at the top here. And we are going to place that on four because we've got four fans and our income is determined on the side, which we get later. So until someone else comes along and has more comics produced of romance, so if these guys had, you know, two comics of romance, one of them could be a ripoff. They would then take this token. They would be masters of romance and they would get two victory points at the end of the game of this star and they get an additional fan as well. You never lose fans though when you uh, have this taken off you if that occurs okay and these cards are kept secret as well so they have printed some in we've, we've, we've done everything there okay yellows are up now let's go back to print and we're going to show you how to do a rip-off comic then so they, they could legitimately do an original our rip-off is where you haven't had to go and get your idea tokens you haven't had to go and develop to get the actual matching color of of the genre you just literally go okay I'm going to use a writer and an artist of my choice. Now, you have to you have to rip off a, uh, an original comic that's been made by anyone. So at the moment, the only original out there is this romance one. So we're going to do that. So we're going to rip off just a feeling. So we look at the reds just below, and it's called, in this case, something slightly quirky. Uh, oh, my days. Where's the actual token? Just a feeling. It's hiding. It's it's disappeared, folks. Okay, right. I might, unless it's hiding in the... Oh, no, it's already on the board, isn't it? Just a feeling. Right, let's just pretend this one. I don't know where that has gone. There should be five there, actually. Unless it's called... Oh, I don't know what actually that is called. Okay, we'll take this one here. So we're going to plonk this one. And this should be called... Let me look through the deck, actually. Making a right hash of this. So just a feeling is called... Is it twin drama? Emotions? It's called Emotion. That's why. Most of the others actually really match up. So you can see, you know, it lives as it walks. But in this case, they've changed the name to Emotion. So we look in this deck then. So you can see it's a separate deck of the ripoff cards. You take that. You put your writer in the top here, your artist there. And we are randomly doing a sci-fi writer. An artist who specializes in westerns. But we're ripping off and making a romantic comic. So we take this emotion one. And our value of fans then. So, okay, let me rewind. So we've, we've, we've not had to use the, 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 the idea tokens. And we have not had to develop. So we've just found the rip-off of that original, which in this case is emotion for some reason, based off just a feeling. And now we have to pay the salary still, which is two plus the one is three. So we get some change. We put this on our fan base. Now, the fan base is usually a lot less because those fans aren't interested in rip-off comics. You can see there's no fans this time on the comic itself, whereas this one had plus one fan. So we're not getting a fan there. And neither of these are actually based uh, specialists in romance. So we're getting zero fans. So we're starting at the bottom. So how can we get that up? Well, we could use this to complete orders, maybe, of the strength of free, or we could go to various places on the board and special actions and, and spend tokens and what have you to bolster this up or on royalties as well. But that's just a demo of how to do a rip-off which i probably wouldn't have done so early on okay that was the yellow player wasn't it so we're going to go back to reds we're going to demonstrate royalties boom first player gets four bucks 
Next player to go there is going to get three, and then it's three again, two and one. So you want to get there quickly if you want those royalties. Yellows then are going to go and show you sales. Now, this is where you get to move around Manhattan. Now you can see at the top, your first movement is free. You're having a little walk. If you want to go uh, any further, you can go as far as you want for, for one step each, and it's going to cost you two bucks each time you move for that taxi. Now, this spot going first lets us know we can do as much movement as we want, but we, have, we can only pick up three times and then it goes to two two one and one so we are kind of in a we haven't really done a, an original yet so we're not quite we've got this 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 one here the romantic one but how's this going to work then so yellows are going to move one for free so let's say we go to this spot here and we want to pick up this romantic one we're going to take this western one and we can pick up to three we don't want to take too many because if we don't complete these at the end of the game we're going to get negative points for each fan we have not satisfied so we've taken two we could maybe spend two on a taxi which we haven't got them quite enough money to go here and then you could pick up a remainder one so it's a combination of moving and picking up the, you know as many out of the the quantity you can take to to have orders to fulfill to get these extra fans now if you did land on someone that's fine but it reminds you, you have to pay them two bucks for doing so so we've taken these two tokens we can't fulfill any just yet because this romantic uh, comic needs a strength for four and our writer and artist values free mm, okay so we're gonna have to try and complete that before the end of the game over to the reds then final move so we've demonstrated all the spots now and just to summarize we've got higher you take a writer and an artist a developer to get these cards ideas to take them off here and here We've got print to build an original we've shown and you've got a rip-off artist. We go here just to pretty much get money and this one is to work your way around these little stands and get orders and fulfill them for more fans and sales. So I'm going to kind of leave it there really and kind of demonstrate so at uh, the end of the round. So let's just say this chap goes here again which you can do and gets free money everyone has used their workers you head over to the end phase which is firstly establish your ranking so you're looking at here the brown player's got the highest comic the highest ranking and if it gets all the way to the top you can flip it and it reminds you've got 10 fans six money and you start again so where are these guys here so they're going to get free victory points folks Boom. Second player would get uh, two victory points. If you've actually got zero fans, you don't get anything. The next thing you do is earn your money. So these guys, you go to the left, they're going to get three dollars. Boom, take their money. These guys are getting zero. And if you did have, say, two comics out there, you know, there's one up here as well. You get four bucks for that one and three bucks for that one. You then establish two in order. So whoever's ranked lowest in the comic value would go first. If it's uh, a tie, you just swap it over. So this is going to be yellows are the, 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 the lowest down on the order you then reduce each comic by one fan so you know they're losing their interest in your comic you don't go lower than there so all comics would go down one you then remove all your editors so you get all these back off the board so you can start again next round and finally you discard all these cards here and you take those out and you replenish with free again from the tops there now you start over again you go back to the beginning so you flip the calendar tile you flip all these sci-fi ones over you then uh, refill the ideas token so you take two out there and refill that you add hype to the comics that you've got on the side if you've got that special ability and then you pay to either train and learn with the creatives and specialists you've got there you then go to the middle phase again and you place all your workers out and then you do the end like we just said after five rounds you notice round three's got sort of two at the end of five rounds you will turn this over and use the scoring system so you're going to get points for fans at the end of the round so you're going to have more comics than this and they're going to be higher up but literally this comic would get you free victory points if you had any orders left over like these guys you're going to get negative two for that negative one for that you then have an uh, accumulated victory points throughout the game so at the end of a round you know if, as we mentioned if you've got the highest comic value you're going to get these victory points victory points for these master tokens they got two on each of them if you get one of these better color tokens which i'll demonstrate in a minute you get two vps for that four to one on money for a vp four to one for the any idea tokens you have spare and most importantly you're gonna get victory points for the comics you've made not the rip-offs though so the comics if you have a comic that is let me see if i can find one 
like this. You have got all three of the same. Your, your artist and your... Uh, well, that's two artists there. Your artist and your writer and your actual genre are all the same. You're going to get six VPs. If only two of them are the same... Oh, I'll keep picking up the writer. If only two of these are the same, you're going to get four VPs. And if they're all completely different, you are going to get two victory points. At the end of the game, most victory points is the winner. Now... There's another layer to this game, folks. It's their special action. So as you build your comics, whether it's rip-off or original, when you build one on this spot, you're going to get this cube. And you can see it's got a sort of two-value comic above it. This one's three, four, five, and six. So you get to place this where these tokens are. So for now, this can only go on these three ones. So you plonk it on your, your, your colour matching it. So if you go here, when you go to the higher action, and let's choose the right colour, you have attained that special ability. You can get your writer and your artist, but equally, as a special action now, moving forward, you can swap writers and artists one time only. Uh, well, not one time only, but you can do one writer and one artist per special action. So maybe you took up two here. Let's get some... You picked up these two and you're like, you know what? I want to swap this artist with this artist here because it gets me, you know, more fans and more strength for set collecting to get those victory points at the end of the game. You can swap an artist and a writer amongst ones that are already out there. So some real flexibility of that action. If you go here, you get to develop and then you get one of these hype tokens which gets added round to round and gets you more hype. If you go here, you can trade in uh, up to three of these tokens and let's say you had a romance one and they could have been in your sort of um, supply already so you could spend this romance one to increase this by one fan boom happy days if that was the right player that one there so you can do three comic uh, three fans uh, a comic each so you couldn't like do all three tokens on just the one comic so that's a really nice way to turn idea tokens into a fan for each comic Eventually then, when you get this second cube out and you've built your comics up here, you can go to this spot and here you can get these good quality uh, colour tokens which get you two victory points at the end of the game. That's really nice. When you get up here, you can start going over here and you can turn money into fans and you can concentrate them on the same comic. So you can spend up to nine bucks max and get four fans on this comic. Boom. This one then, it lets you, when you get to the top here, get an extra worker. So you've, you've sent your worker out here you do your you, you're moving around the mark source you get this worker and that is used for this round only at the end of the round it comes back so you know you don't get it permanently and as you get to the end here you know you've got what five comics this action lets you move one of your existing special tokens somewhere else and then you start getting one victory point for each original comic you've previously built from this spot, the sixth spot onwards, so you can build more comics, you're going to get two victory points for each comic thereafter. So two victory points for this and so on, even for the rip-off comics, which is really nice. And that is your board, folks. You're trying to make the most of these special actions as well and get those little bonuses. Are you going to do that by doing rip-off comics? But you can't do too many because you're waiting for your opponents to have made original ones. But if you do get the original ones, you know, you're bumping up your fan base here and you're getting more money, which means you can spend more to get tactics, to get orders. You can, you know, avoid the royalty spot and actually not have to rely on royalties, but you can go and do more around here. So a lovely mix of things to do, folks. So much theme in this game. It, it does a grand job of actually feeling like you're a publisher of comics folks what a great game this one there we are go and check it out on kickstarter if this seems of interest to you enjoy